Today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the first several terms of a sequence. And in this particular problem, we've been given the a sub nth term of the sequence, which is a sub n is equal to 1 plus the quantity negative 1 half to the n. Now when we're asked to calculate the first terms of the sequence and the a sub nth term is this simple, all we need to do is plug in values of n starting with n equals 1 and simplifying to find the value of each term in the sequence. So for example, we'll say here n is equal to 1, we're going to get the a sub 1 term of the sequence and that's going to be plugging in 1 for n where we'll get 1 plus the quantity negative 1 half to the first power and then we're going to get a sub 1 is equal to positive 1 half or 0 0.5000. Often when we're calculating the first terms of the sequence, we're asked to calculate to four decimal places or something like that. So we can go ahead and express it that way as well. And then we just follow the same process for the next terms in the sequence. We say n equals 2 is going to give us a sub 2, which will be 1 plus negative 1 half squared, that's going to give us a sub 2 is equal to 1 plus 1 fourth or 5 fourths, which is the same as 1.2500. We can continue on like this where we get n equals 3, that's the a sub 3 term, that's 1 plus the quantity negative 1 half to the third, which gives us a sub 3 is equal to 1 minus 1 eighth or just 7 eighths which is the same as 0 0.8750. Now I won't keep going with all of the tedious writing, but what you'll find is that if you keep going, let's say to the first six terms of the sequence, you'll get a sub four equals 17 over 16, or 1.0625. You'll get a sub five is equal to 31 over 32, which is also equal to 0.9688. And then you'll get a sub six is equal to 65 over 64, which is also 1.0156. And you can just keep going like that. If you want to try to use these terms to draw a conclusion about the limit of the sequence as n approaches infinity, you can go ahead and try to plot these values on a coordinate system and see if you can make a guess about the value they're approaching. I've gone ahead and done that already anyway, and what you can see is that if we plot these values, and this is values for n here, we found n equals 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6. So this is the a sub 1 value here. We found that it was 0.5, so we plotted that point here at 1.5. And we just kept going. And what you see is that these values oscillate back and forth across the line y equals 1, but they get closer and closer to that line. So the conclusion that we can then try to draw is that the limit as n goes to infinity of the sequence a sub n, this entire sequence here, is equal to 1 because as n goes farther and farther out to the right, these points will approach the line y equals 1. They'll get closer and closer and closer to it without ever reaching it. So the limit as n approaches infinity of the entire sequence is 1.